Your life will never remain the same. I want you to shout a big Hosanna. To the highest. Bless everything. That comes in the name of the Lord. Bless every Jesus. That comes in the name of the Lord. Bless all the other apostles. That comes in the name of the Lord. Holy, holy is he. Who is and was and is to come and is alive forevermore. Amen. Our today's someone is talking about keys to upliftment. Father, we thank you as we are about to hear your word. We appreciate your wisdom, your godly. Be thou exalted. Some of our Lord Jesus Christ, that I can see your presence here. The priest is over here. The seven priest of God. The Almighty Hand. God Almighty. Jehovah. Abba Father. Jesus Christ, God the Most High God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Is your presence over here. The remission power. The blood that redeems from sin. That cleanses, cleanses all of them. Let them be pure before you. Purify their recovery which in heaven. Purify their robe. Their beautiful home in heaven, they be pious, their crown, let them be shining like gold. No one will take it away from them. As I go in the the world, let them be doers of the world of the year. So that in the last day, by the power and the death and reverence of our Lord Jesus Christ, they will be shown in love, they will be blessed in this world and the world to come. After this sermon, their lives will never remain the same. Let the power of healing be present. The power, present for healing. They heal their problems, solve their problems, give them their heart desires. They will not lack anything again. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Son of the Most High God. Amen. That song of Who has the Joshua 24? Praise the Lord. Joshua 24, you see what she read? She said from 13, And I have given you a land for which you did not level. God did not say, I will give you, or I'm going to give you. He said, I've already given you. Because you are the spiritual Israelite. These are talking about Israelites. And the blood of Jesus redeemed you to become an Israelite by faith. That's why he said it's by fire, by force. You suffered violence by faith. You are an Israelite in Christ Jesus. You are Israelites by faith. He said, I have given you the land already. Not I will give you. So if you don't know that you have it or you are suffering, the land has been given to you. And that land, Bible says, which you did not level. He gave you a land you did not level. You did not know how the land was built. You did not know how people suffer for it. And Bible said again, and the witches, you, cities you, which you did not build. He gave you cities that you didn't build. You are, did not have to build the city. You just came and enjoyed it. As you came to Germany now, you didn't build Germany. There are people that suffered it. They suffered for Germany during the war. You just entered and enjoyed it. The city you did not build. He gave you that enjoyment. He said, and you dwell in them. And the vineyard and only the earth, which is not plant, you eat. You begin to eat what you know how it comes from. Money you didn't know how it comes, you're going to eat. The vineyard, you begin to collect and eat. They give you money, go and buy. How the money comes in that way? That is the promise of God to Israel, like to the children. He said, I've given it to you. And there is another condition he gave. He said in 14, now therefore fear God and serve him in sincerity and truth. He's telling you, I've given all these things. Now, this is your own duty. Therefore, miss. He said again, now therefore. This is my own constitution. Ah, you have come, you took me to a place. Maybe they took the person to the best they gave you more, gave you money for ritual. They say, I'm going to make you millionaire. This is actually yours, my era. But now, this is our own condition. You will bring your father, your mother. God is saying that I'm giving you that thing. You free, but now, see my own. He said in 14, now therefore, serve you, fear the Lord. 
in serving in sincerity and is true and put away the God which your father served. The God your father served. Before they gave birth to you, your forefather served. You have to put it away now. And what again? On the other side of the flood. And Egypt. And you serve the Lord. He's telling you, you put away the God which yourself and serve on the other side of the flood and Egypt. And you, you serve the Lord. Don't follow them to serve that God. The money he used to bless you, don't send it home for the call you. You know, say, we, we renew that thing. We are going to renew certain things this year. You know, say that every once in a year, if you do, don't do it. The gods of Latin will come and finish me and your papa. Finish us or finish our children. That is the true record. You just stay and ready to pia. Tomorrow you come to church. You say you fear me. When you send that money home, you know that it's a something of a extra for the goddess. You can't tell God and mammon. You are under the cage because you never ready to serve God. You know what that money is being used for. You tell them that you cannot send it. That you are in Christ Jesus. If your parents are not prayerful to you, you back them. When you decide in your faith that you don't want to send that money, if you have that faith that you come to and pray, nothing will happen to them. It's you that saved me, you back them. It's the fear of put away. Let for them not see the wash, let them stop disturbing you to bring money to go and do some rituals. The time has come. And you know, you send the money. And they send you 15. And Joshua asked them. That's what Joshua asked. Joshua asked. And if it seems evil to you to serve the Lord, choose this day whom you will serve. What about of your father? The way your father served. And we are on the other side of the flood. All gods of Amorites, those are powerless gods, in whose land you dwell. Joshua told them, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. You choose. You can't serve two gods. You can't be serving God and sending money for home to bring you to go and appease God. It doesn't mean that if your parents or your foreparents serve idol, that God cannot favor you. Okay. In Joshua 24, 2, who has it? Is it ready? Or I read it because it's in here. Joshua 24, 24, verse 2. Yeah, you're the one that has it. Read it fast to see what happened. Mm -hmm. And Joshua said unto all the people, mm -hmm. Thou said the Lord God of Israel, your fathers dwell on the other side of the flood in old time. Even so Terah, the father of Abraham, and the father of Nahor, and they served other, other gods. gods. Can you see the father of Abraham was pagan? Yes. Did it beg God not to bless Abraham? No. Did it depress Abraham from getting blessing from God? No. The father of Abraham was terror. He served idol. But who is the father of all nations today? Abraham. So it doesn't mean that your, your parents serve idol or they worship idol. God cannot bless you. God cannot lift you up. Abraham didn't follow the father to serve it. Abraham worshiped God in truth and in spirit. In righteousness and holiness and in fear. If your parents or forefathers or your relations are doing it and they are calling you, it doesn't mean that if you don't answer them, God will not bless you. When you worship God, God will bless you. God will not visit you because of your sins. Abraham, God did not look at the father terror, but he blessed Abraham out of grace. And that grace is still around. In the Old Testament, they call mercy, mercy, mercy. In a few places, you can see grace. But in the New Testament, the grace is too much because of the power in the blood of Jesus. So you are going to go to grace will give you to grace. To stop sponsoring anything for forefathers or idol for goddess of the Lamb, so that God will bless you and give you your heart and death in Jesus' name. Amen. Because those, 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 those things are setting for somebody down. That is the keys of the listeners. You must choose one. One of them is must choose one. You cannot be coming to church. Your mind is in that, 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 that you are going to spend money and doing something for the ritual. And Joshua said, I and my family, we have chosen to serve God. And it favored him. God used Joshua to divide Jordan. You have the story of Jordan. When they were pursuing them, the way of us is parted hand, the rest is divided. It happened in the time of Joshua. Jordan. After that, what happened? 
You used to hear the story. The wall of Jericho fell down. Who led them? Joshua. He was the one that led them. And the wall of Jericho fell down. And they had to have victory. Joshua said he, he has chosen to serve the living God. And it worked for him. It worked for Joshua. God did the survive Joshua. Joshua. He saw you to use Joshua as an example. Joshua succeeded. Joshua had died happily. Happily. She said he has chosen to serve God. And black God lifted you up. So today, you are going to tell God that you are choosing to serve him. That other people, let them choose the God they will serve. That you will serve the living God. And he will lift you up. If Joshua can do it, God used Joshua to do power on it. He divided Red Jordan. The wall of Jericho fell down. These are mighty things. He will use it to do mighty things in Jesus' name. Amen. The things that are impossible, he will use it to become to make it become possible. Someone that has the look 174, 75, so that you will see when you decide. Luke 1, 74, 75. I read from Luke 1. 74. 74. Luke 1, 74 to 75. That he would grant unto us that we be delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear. In, hol in holiness and in righteousness before him all the days of our well, life. life. God, Jesus, this is the purpose of Jesus. This is when Zachariah, the day of the ceremony of John the Baptist. John Zachariah, when he started talking as a dog, you know God dumped him when he was doubting whether Elizabeth can become pregnant. Then when he opened his mouth and started talking, he said all of this, he said that he will grant us, this is the prophetic of Jesus Christ, that his coming, death and resurrection, will grant us and deliver you from your enemies, and you might serve him without fear. When you are in Christ, you are not going to fear. When they tell you, if you don't bring the money home, tomorrow, the God that will come and finish us, they will make me strong to make papa your papa. You are lying. The work of Jesus is to serve him without fear. Without fear of goddess. Without fear of marine. Without fear of tradition. Without fear of native doctor. Without fear of any appeal. Any appeal, any enchantment, any divination, any incantation. This is the work of Jesus. When you cry Jesus and you still have fear, it's the same. Because when you, you have fear, if you make anyone say, go, why you cry Jesus, then we will be laughing. Jesus has given you the grace to serve him without fear. So if you are afraid all this why, when they call you, believe. Today, God will remove that fear in Jesus' name. Amen. He will give you the grace to serve him without fear. Because he will deliver you from your enemies. Because those things you are facing are your enemies. They are not your friends. Lucifer is the father of all. Lucifer is number one enemy of human beings that vow that no one will enter into their realm. So those things are his agents. They are number one enemy. And when God has delivered you from them, you are going to them again. You are not in Christ. So God will give you the grace to be in Christ. Truly in Christ to serve God without fear in Jesus' name. And that is say, so that in holiness and righteousness before him all the of your life, be holy and righteous before God. Not to keep in the root and revelation of the pagan. Those who are ready to have fire is without Christ. In holiness and righteousness, God will give you the grace. From today, if you have been sponsoring those things, God will give you the grace to come out of that. Serve him without fear. Use your own prayer to back your parents. When you back them, nothing happens. I have had many people give testimony in many places. When you say no, back them, nothing will happen. God will give you the grace in Jesus' name. And then the blessings that have been depriving from you, sponsoring all those things, they have been delaying your blessings, delaying your miracle. You pray for one year, you don't know that it's a one thing. Joshua chose to serve God, you chose to. Today, God will separate you from that thing. And that thing we have been praying for a long time. You will get it this year in Jesus' name. Amen. And number two, one of the keys of enlistment is obedience to master. Hebrew 13, 17. Obedient to master. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Say, obey them that rule over you. Authority. This is a command from God. If you don't obey, you should become a saint. Anywhere you are, any place you are, 
as far as that person is the ruling lord over you, no matter how you pray, if you don't obey them, you are committing sin. That is called trespass. You don't, you didn't tell that you not obey government, but there are certain law government we give. If you know that that law is against Bible, maybe tomorrow that they will say every first daughter of every woman will marry dog. Such a law, you will obey it? No. So you obey the law that is in line with the scripture. Anywhere you are, you obey the law. Anywhere you are, you obey the commandment. Even in the church. Anybody that is your master, is it a male leader? Is it a woman leader? Is it a choir leader? Is it a pastor? Anywhere you are under, a trust them is your leader. And you disobey, you have committed trespass. Even if the pastor is five years, as far as the priest is the leader. If he give you instruction, do it this way, and you miss it, it's trespass. For example, in a church, because this is how many churches have problem in Europe. And they come to you and they say, this is European system, this is African system. That's why churches don't grow in Europe, because they are turning Bible upside down. When they come, they say, we are using Europe system. In Africa, church grow everything. Because they are obeying the rules and regulations. But in Europe, they are not obeying the rules. We go to ministry a 17 year church in Europe. Cancers are not on the ministry. 17 years because the obedience is not there. You have to obey your master. Because when you obey your master, the angels that are here to bless the church will bless everybody. But when the angels come, obedience is not there. It's difficult for angels to bless. You remember? Before church starts, this is the law. This one is the one that is made in Bible school. There are angels that come to church five minutes to the time to record the name of those that are in the church before he left. Five minutes to start church. The angels will just come and record the names and leave. When they will come back again with the announcement to see what the announcement may be. Every member will come this week. We are going to weed the grass. The grass has grown. They will record the whole announcement. The other that they will do, they will come and record the name of people that came. If it's within the grass, they come and record the minimum of people that came for within the grass. So that's why in anything you are doing, you have to come have a rule, guidance, so that God will know. Because when angel comes, you don't have exactly time to start church. You don't have exactly two time to start. They will go to heaven and just report to God. In this church, there is no discipline. No time. I came. I don't know whether they are starting or they are still practicing. You have to fix time. You will have to obey time. When you, you overuse time, maybe pastor gave you 10 minutes for this. When the angel is standing here, the first 10 minutes is what is recorded. When it's first 10 minutes, it's straight fast. You are doing it fair. It's no more accepted. That is obey master. In a church, the angel will start if you give you 20 minutes. If that is 20 minutes, so that was a very straight fast. If you watch, come on, men of God all over the world. Immediately they go to another church that preach. Immediately they see somebody standing at the back. They will not run off. Okay, we continue for They close. They are avoiding stress pass. They close it. They will not continue. They have given the wife of bishops. When their husband gives them paper to say something, their eye will be the clock. If you miss one minute, it's a stress pass. With that church cannot grow. It brings